All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Okay, so we have the moon in the reverse, Cancer, Piscean energy, and we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy with the World card and the Hierophant, strong Taurus here, guys. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus. So we've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Taurus energy. We've got the Six of Cups. And we have the Empress. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. So we've got the Strength card in the reverse, Leo energy. The Four of Cups in the reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay, and we've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy with the Nine of Cups. Okay, under the deck, Taurus, we've got the Six of Wands. All right. So what we have here in the recent past or coming into the near future, you know, uh, time is not linear, so take it as it resonates, Taurus. So I feel like... I feel like there's a sense of seeing things clearly, Taurus, okay? You're no longer confused about something. You're no longer, you know, the wool isn't pulled over your eyes. I feel like you're realizing that something here is truly over, okay? It is truly over. Now, with the King of Cups and the Hierophant, I feel like there's still a sense, though, of um, love here. There's still a sense of loyalty here. There's still a sense of, like, someone here still has feelings, though, okay? And with the Hierophant here um even though there's a knowing that something is over there's still a sense of you know being committed to something or someone even though you know that the cycle has closed out already okay so what we have coming in now is a sense of with the ten of wands in the reverse releasing that past releasing this x so you're realizing here that even though you know something's not going to come back together you've been loyal to it faithful to it um you know you had hope that it would come back together even though you had control over your emotions um and even though again it was very clear to you that this is not going to come back together you're releasing that okay with the ten of wands in the reverse and the six of cups this may be you know an x that you were holding on to with the knight of pentacles in the reverse and the empress there is no opportunity for a new beginning here with this person and you're seeing that clearly taurus okay you're no longer living Living in the illusion that this is going to come back together with the strength card in the reverse <coughs> and the seven of swords here I feel like you've been stopping yourself from moving on. Um, I feel like you have had difficulty even speaking to people or dating people because you've been so loyal to this person. But again, there's a sense of releasing that. There's a sense of, you know, letting go. With the Four of Cups in the reverse, um, it, you know, you kind of see it as a missed opportunity. Um, you're you're kind of living in this energy of would have, should have, could have, could have, what would have happened you know what I'm saying, if things would have been different. Um, and I feel like right when you start to slip away, okay, right when you start to slip away from this, you're going to get communication that's going to make you very happy, okay? You're going to get, you're going to hear from this person and it's going to make you very happy. But I'm not really sure if this person is communicating, uh, you know, to reconcile. I just feel like they're going to shoot you a message, okay? They're going to shoot you a message, Um but I feel like with the Seven of Swords energy, I feel like this person's going to come and go. I don't really feel like they're here to stay, okay? So don't go back to lying to yourself and to thinking that this is more than what it is. I feel like that's the message here. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, 
I feel like as soon as you release and you realize that you missed this opportunity, that it's never coming back together again, you hear from them. But with the seven of swords, I feel like now we're back to square one where maybe, you know, you're, you're lying to yourself. You're not seeing the truth for what it is. So just be careful not to fall back into that cycle. With the six of wands under the deck here and the page of pentacles, again, there's going to be communication here that's going to make you feel amazing. It's going to make you feel like you've won, like, yes, you know, uh, like a victory, like a win. Just be careful with that. Taurus, because you don't want to go back to being in the moon energy where you're not seeing the truth of the situation. Do you understand? Um, maybe this person is just hitting you up as a friend. But I feel like this communication is going to make you very happy, but it may also, yeah, see, the lover's, uh, excuse me, not the lover's card, the, the devil here, Capricorn energy. I feel like for quite some time, you kind of felt bound to this person, a little obsessive over this person, you know, uh, hoping that it would come back together again. But now you're seeing clearly that, listen, I'm, I'm, this is becoming a little toxic for me. I can't stop thinking about this person. Meanwhile, they're not really there. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're not, you may not even be talking to this person. Tell me about the world card. We've got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel like there's a sense of confidently understanding, okay, this is over, this cycle has ended. Tell me about the King of Cups. Um, the problem here is, is that you can't move on. You can't, you know, we've got the Fool card in the reverse here, Aries energy and the Hierophant. So even though, even though it's very clear to you that this is not coming back together, um, you can't help but not move on like you're still your feelings are still there for this person but with the nine of cups in the reverse and the hierophant you're not going to get the type of commitment that you want here you're not going to but you're hopeful you have faith that it will come to fruition and this is why every time this person talks to you there's heartbreak because one person wants something and the other person isn't there ten of wands in the reverse we've got the seven of cups i it's clear again with the moon card in the reverse and the seven of cups in the reverse taurus it's clear that you need to release this six of cups energy and the and the emperor in the reverse aries taurus energy this is not stable this person is not coming towards you for commitment they maybe never even have you know but i feel like taurus this is a situation where one person doesn't want this commitment. They don't want a connection here, but the other person is still holding on strongly to hope. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is not offering anything. With the Three of Wands in the reverse, they don't see a future. They're not offering a future. They're not. Tell me about the Empress. And the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yes, see, someone here is releasing the concept that this person is their Empress or Emperor. Do you understand? They're releasing the com a concept that this was the one. Okay, but then again, every time communication comes in, there's a sense of hope or happiness. Like someone here gets crazy happy when they hear from this person. Do you see what I'm saying? They're like, okay, I'm back in the race. I'm back in the fight. I can, I can fight for this person's attention again. Um, but that's not what this is. This person may just be talking to you as a friend. Tell me about the strength card in the reverse. We've got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like it's like as soon as you decide to move forward, you become stagnant again because this person comes back in. Four of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like there's this energy of this person. You see this person as a missed opportunity. You see this person as a pre-Empress energy, as a Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, this person is very stable, loyal, um, you know, when, when they want to be, okay? Loyal, um, financially stable, possibly. This person is a catch. They are a catch. So Taurus, I feel like you don't really want to move on. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Like if there's a chance for you to be able to fight for this person and be in competition for this person, you're, you're going to want to take it. Okay. Tell me about the seven of swords. Six of swords in the reverse. This is what I'm trying to tell you, Taurus. Don't lie to yourself with that seven of swords energy. Don't fall under the, under the deception that if this person talks to you, that they're coming back. I don't feel that this person is coming back. Tell me about the page of wands. Okay. We've got the queen 
of Cups in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person is coming in to talk to you. Taurus. The problem here is, is that you're going to end up seeing this person as a bad person, as someone who doesn't have a heart, as a, someone who's mean or cruel and all that other stuff. Um, why? Because there's a sense of, I want to be with you, but you don't want to be with me. But the problem is, is that everyone has free will, Taurus. <laughs> okay. So you have to be careful that you, it's kind of like this energy of they come in and say, Hey, what's up? And you automatically think that this person wants to come back. And when that doesn't play out, you make them out to be the bad person and it's their fault. So you want to be careful of doing that because that's not the case here. This person maybe just wants to talk to you, say, Hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Um, so now guys, of course, this could be vice versa. So take it as it resonates. Tell me about the nine of cups. We've got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. You see what I'm saying? You allow your wish fulfillment to take over. You, you get your hopes up really, really high. And then with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, when you realize that it was all a lie, you get really upset at this person. But I don't really feel like it's the person's fault. I feel like, you know, as much as you see the truth of the matter, your heart is not following the mind. Like your mind is telling you, okay, this is really over. It's not going to come back together. But your heart is still with this person. And it's like you take everything they do to heart like if they talk to you oh my gosh they're coming back but that's not the case you understand what i'm saying and i feel like you're getting your hopes up and letting yourself down but then you get really angry and you want to take it out on this person and call them heartless you know so you got to be careful with that okay you don't let your pride get in the way don't let ego get in the way here taurus yeah, just, you know, I feel like, I feel like mentally, you know, that this is not going to come together, but emotionally, emotionally, you can't seem to move on. So whenever this person's around, your hopes come up. Okay. We've got hold your vision and we've got communication is key. So I feel like. I feel like what happens here, Taurus, is you have this vision that this person is meant to be with you. Okay. And I feel like you know, you want to talk to this person, you want to stay in contact with this person to hold that vision. Okay. So <laughs> the thing is, is like, if this person answers you and you know, oh yeah, my day is good. How's your day? You take that as, okay, I still have an in. There's still hope here. I can still do this, but this is the end of a tough cycle approaches. I feel like you have to gain awareness here, Taurus, that you know, you're holding out hope for something here that I don't think is going to happen. And then, you know, you want to get angry. You, I, I feel like there's a sense of you getting angry that this person doesn't care or yeah, see victory and caring connections. You want to win this connection for us. And again, this can be vice versa. You know what I'm saying? You want to win. you see this person as your happily ever after you want to win this person. Um, like you see them as someone very abundant and you see the fact that this hasn't come together as a missed opportunity. We've got fragmented energy and discovery. <laughs> God bless me, the truth. Teacher, discovery and fragmented energy. I feel like you're start you need to see the truth of why you feel this way. Okay, you're fearing starting a new beginning here, Taurus. You're fearing moving on to someone new. You want this connection to come back together. And what's happening here is I feel like you're learning here. You're realizing the truth here that your energy is fragmented. You feel like a piece of yourself is gone when this person's not with you. Okay, and every, you know, if, if they say anything to you or if they come around you, there's this immediate sense of joy, like, like, a, like a drug, you know what I'm saying, where you you're like, okay, you know, maybe there's still hope here. Maybe there's still hope here. And then when, when that falls, you know, goes belly up and it doesn't work out, like you, you experience like hatred towards this person, or you get upset with this person because you feel like they led you on when they didn't. They did it. And you're realizing here that you need to clear your energy, that there's something happening within you that's not healthy. And I feel that, you know, you're starting to realize here that you fear moving on from this person. You fear starting something new. You fear letting this go for some reason. OK, um, and I feel like that's that's something that you really need to recognize and work on, because sometimes when we are hurting or when we have shadow work that needs to be taken care of, what we look 
love to do, and I mean all of us, Taurus, is we love to point fingers at other people. And we love to blame other people for our pain or our hurt instead of focusing on healing ourselves because it's hard. You see what I'm saying? It's hard to heal ourselves. So Taurus, if this is you know resonating with you, you have to start looking within. It's no one else's fault. You have to start looking within to heal the shadow, do the shadow work and heal because there's a sense of fear of moving on here. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Taurus? We've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And we've got, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. And we've got wedding. The situation involves marriage. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive um, the highest energy of all. And keep an open mind popped out in the reverse. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. See, you're in this energy of... This is the one. This is my soulmate. This is the person that I want to marry. This is the person that I feel safe with. Okay. You're not really keeping an open mind here that it may, the person for you may be someone different. You're not really open to the fact that, you know, this isn't your person. Like you're just dead set on the fact that this is the one for me and that's it. You're, you're not really keeping your options open or saying, you know, maybe it's time for me to move on. You know, you're not, you're not doing that like at all. Okay. All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.